Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to explain how to remove TGVV ransomware. This malware is yet another sample that belongs to the Stop family. It attacks users all over the world asking for up to $980 for file decryption. The most obvious sign of the attack is the presence of ransom node titled readme.txt and the TGVV extensions all over the place. So first of all, you should remove it as quickly as possible. It carries several other viruses which extend their damage with every minute of being active. To have a better understanding of what you are dealing with, let me tell you some details regarding this ransomware. The main danger of this attack chain is, of course, the ransomware. It is capable of ciphering your files, making them inaccessible. Moreover, it stays active even after finishing the encryption and scans your system for unciphered files. So, if you download something or bring the file in any other way, ransomware will notice it and encrypt the file as well. However, there are several other viruses that come along with TGVV ransomware. Amity Dropper, as you may suppose from its name, aims at delivering other infections to your system. Instead of direct downloading from the C2 or installation with cracked software, it brings any other threat by a simple command. Hackers ease further infections using MAD. Smoke Loader Backdoor is a classic backdoor that is capable of providing cybercriminals with remote access to the system. Most often it is used to remotely guide your system to execute certain commands like DDoS attack or other malware installation. It's also capable of stealing some categories of personal information and passwords. Widow Stealer is an info stealer which targets browser cookies, mailing clients, and cryptocurrency wallets. It is a hit and run malware which performs self removal as soon as all rotten operations for data gathering are completed. Seeing it running in your system is not a common occasion, as most of the time its operations take minutes. Nonetheless, as there are facts of it being included to the pack with the ransomware, and it is possible to repel it before it completes its task. It is especially effective considering the fact that Widder sends the data package to the C2 server just before performing self-destruction. Before performing any data recovery, you should clean your device. Otherwise, your code files will be ciphered back and additional malware will be able to get your sensitive data all this time. I'd recommend you to use Greensoft and Time Malware for that purpose. Let's download, install and run it. By the way, I have a 15% discount promo link for this program. You'll find it in the description. And meanwhile, I will tell you a couple of things regarding data recovery. First of all, any stop ransomware sample ciphers only 150 kilobytes of data at the file's beginning. For documents and photos of typical sites, it is critical. They are getting entirely encrypted. But for larger things, especially for music files and video, not all is lost. Some pictures and other files that are over several megabytes large can be restored or even assessed without any decryption. Using specific software like the good old Winamp, for example, you can open files almost flawlessly. Just remove the ransomware extension and give it a try. Another piece of good news is that this ransomware becomes quite lazy when it comes to ciphering exceptionally big things. And the big things I mean ones of over a gigabyte size. Keeping such large things on your disk is not a common occasion, but if you have one and it has this nasty extension at the end, Try to remove the excessive scene and open it as usual. There is a large probability that you will succeed. Now let's discuss a more problematic site, file decryption. I recommend using the MSISoft decryptor tool. It's a free software that is designed specifically to deal with encryption used by Stop Ransomware. However, before making any steps here, you need to check whether files are ciphered with an online or offline key. To check the key type, go to the system ID folder in your system directory and find their personal id.txt file. This folder and all entries in it are created by ransomware in the process of encryption to store some details regarding the attack system. The personal id.txt file contains a single string that is used to identify the victim among others. If the string ends with T1, then malware has used an offline key to encrypt your system. Any other endings on the string means they use an open online key. The other sign of online key usage is the presence of this strangely named txt file in the same folder. This file keeps a public key used during the creation of an online key, though it may sometimes be created but not used because of the network errors. 
To be sure about the type of the used key, it is better to look at the personal ID TXT file. The difference between online and offline encryption keys directly influences your chances of success in file decryption. Online keys generated and stored on the common server controlled by cybercriminals. There is no way to get it, thus the ciphering of files right away is not possible. You need to wait, in some cases for a pretty long time. Keys may leak, law enforcement may arrest the hackers and release all the keys, or specialists may find the vulnerability in the encryption mechanism and release the effect of the crypto. There is plenty of room for hope. Offline keys are different. There is only one offline key used for all victims of a specific sample. That gives you much bigger chances to get your files back. You may need to wait a bit before the key will be discovered, but it generally takes much less time than in the case of an online key. There is one thing you should be certain about. You should never pay the ransom. By paying up the bill, you fund the hackers, which motivates them to keep going. If there will be no payoff from their job, well, no one will really work for free, and so do the hackers. Times when computer viruses were spread to simply mischief people without any monetization are long gone. While we were talking, Rudin's self program successfully completed its job. It detected all the payloads that appeared during the attack. Click Clean Now to wipe them out and make your PC clean from malicious programs. Please note, Rudin's Soft Anti Malware is a malware removal program, not a decryptor. To get your files back, follow the guide of How to Fix That Guide. We will put the link in the description. You will find the links on detailed analysis of all malware samples in the description as well. Good luck and stay safe online.